because of everything that we've been going through the stresses the distresses the mistresses the mattresses me and duncan have finally decided to do the right thing and actually start taking care of ourselves consciously doing something that's for us we went ahead and bought some healthy kombucha that's that's right it's kombucha for real it's good for your gut you know what i'm saying sure there's some alcohol in there but that, that just comes with the kombucha you know what I'm saying? Ginger lemon. I'm just the more I drink, the healthier I guess. Uh, uh. Here we have a blender full of that organic. Everything here is organic. We got organic blueberries, organic oat milk. We're not adding cream of wheat. That's not one of the things. We got some maca. We got some chia. Chia, maca. Some bananas. Some bananas. It's too thick, bro. It's you too know. thick. You can't do it. You can't do it. Need more leche. Some alkaline water. Alkaline water. This is turning into a difficult smoothie. Organic. That's the way me and Duncan like it. Thick organic. That's thick organic. <laughs> thick organic. It's like a solid. It's a sorbet, dude. Oh! <laughs> this guy oh, no. got it. Thick oh, organic. No. <laughs> I gotta eat this thing with a spoon, dude. That's how you know it's a good smoothie when you can stick a spoon right in. It's just standing straight up. Christmas. Me and your boy Duncan riding around, Christmas out. We got the sweaters, the sweater for the wetter. We're getting well with the sweater wetter. I don't believe in Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Paganistic nightmare. But I do have to say, these are some very comfortable sweaters. They're becoming, they're becoming of something. It's a, it's a difficult thing to digest. But here I am thinking Christmas is a very, uh, Christian holiday, you know what I'm saying? And then as you go uh, through life, you come to realize that it has nothing to do with Jesus. It has to do with the equinox. Saturnalia. Saturnalia, Yule, Krampus. You got some old dude running around stealing children. This is real Christmas, and this is what we choose to celebrate. We try to throw down on a materialism and get everybody in a frenzy to buy stuff. What's going on here, fam? I do gotta say, it's nice to get together with the family, but under what cause? Under what cause? I got some coloring books and some festive socks. Beautiful. Now we got some Santa baby. Merry Christmas, everybody. Satan, Satan, Satan. Como quien dice Santa Claus. Santa. Well, let's go to Santana and drink some Klaus. All right. I hate Christmas. There's nothing about Christmas that I enjoy, except the eggnog. How do you make the nog? Quite simple, let me show you. Start off with some bourbon. The turkey is watching you. Sometimes I feel like a turkey, but it's okay. Because I understand that I am goblin. I'm a goblin, in other words. Four ounces, since we're doing two drinks. Normally be two each, but. Doubling up the recipe. Four ounces of bourbon. That's great. 
Gotta love the bourbon. You got some yak of the cone variety. Cognac, very special. This is actually from France, so it was good. In other words, it's got a, a high, high level of bouge to it. High level of bouge, a full ounce of the yak. Luxardo, maraschino liqueur. That's like a cherry liqueur, essentially. Really good, adds a sweet note to it. One ounce. Simple syrup. I retract that final statement. Good, this is how you do it. We're gonna get some eggs. As we said in the previous episode, we enjoy organic. We don't like to not mess around, we wipe the organic. You can get the non-organic, but honestly, if you want that good huevo. That's one egg, I'm gonna do another. It's almost there. The ice, the ice uh, ball. Get your ice ball, Tim. That's one. That's two. All right. Congratulations. There are any cups. So cup one. Cup two. Beautiful. Get the frothy shot right there. Oh, heck yeah, bro. You ever wanted the nog? You just call up your boy. I am the nog doctor. And I prescribe 20 millimeters of nog. Purr. Little cinnamon. Little cinnamon. Because it's not festive unless you got some cinnamon. Some nutmeg. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here, this one for you, Dunk. Thank you. Cheers to a. Uh, Fantastic uh, Nogmas. Not Christmas, Nogmas. <sighs> Maybe I should start waking up earlier. But sleep is so good. But I need the extra time. No, you need the extra rest. I should be reading more. Well, you can't because you don't have enough time. But I can make time. Time is an illusion. Maybe we're all illusions. A very valid point, but we're still alive. But then what will be our life after death? Doesn't matter right now, cause we're still on this plane. Check. It was at that moment, Bosco realized that he couldn't beat himself in a game of chess. He somehow knew all the next moves while simultaneously forgetting all of his previous moves. It seems like he is stuck like this forever. Yeah, what the hell is this guy doing, dude? What, what, what the freak is this guy doing, bro? What in Garsh, what in Garsh's name? What the hey? Yo, what the hey? Oh my gosh, you just backed up into him, bro. Our whole car is destroyed. Car is freaking totaled. What the fuck, Boto? I thought you said it was, Sa you said Santa Claus? Who's, who's the freaking Santa Claus? I thought you said we were gonna listen to Santana and drink some claws. Nah, fool, you're talking about Santa White Claus, bro. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. <laughs> Santa White Claus. We love you, Santana. The Santa Ana with the white claws. Santa Maria. I'll do some Santeria if it'll bring me some white claws. So that's it. We made it to the end of the episode. Thank you for watching uh, the latest installment of the Pallians vlog series, Road to a Hit Record. Uh, it's been a crazy year, as we all have felt and seen and tried to understand. 
but uh, in the midst of that, we thankfully are able to continue forth on our quest for this hit record, and all the while, enjoy some fun, some laughs, maybe some cries. Till next time, this is Bosco.